This is another sign of the times, an analysis and a commentary. 2012 could be warmest year on record and weather disasters target North America. It's increasingly likely that 2012 will go down as the warmest year on record in the continental United States. January September was already the warmest first nine months according to temperature data released by the National Climatic Data Center. Moreover, six of eight scenarios charted by the center have 2012 ending warmer than any other year in records that go back to 1895. The only scenarios where that would not happen are if the last quarter is among the 10 coldest on record. Last month was the 23rd warmest September on record and, more significantly, marked the 16th consecutive month with above average temperatures for the lower 48, the center said in its monthly State of the Climate report. January-September temperatures averaged 59.8 degrees Fahrenheit, 3.8 degrees Fahrenheit above the 20th century average. This year has already seen the warmest March and July on record, and except for September, every other month was in the top 20 warmest. Looking ahead, the U.S. Climate Prediction Center last month posted its three-month outlook, citing enhanced chances for above normal temperatures from the southwest through the Great Plains to the northeast. A weather.com meteorologist noted that only eight of the past 117 years have had an October-December cold enough to drag the U.S. average in 2012 below the warmest year record now shared by 2006 and 1998. In September, the meteorologist calculated that through August, the odds of not surpassing the warmest year on record are about 13 percent. Now, those odds are about 7 percent. Also, the number of natural disasters per year has been rising dramatically on all continents since 1980, but most notably in North America, which has been battered by hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, searing heat and drought, a new report says. The study released by Munich Re, the world's largest reinsurance firm, sees climate change driving the increase and predicts more disasters ahead. Making the link to climate change will likely add to the debate on global warming or whatever have you call it, its causes, consequences, and costs, which often fall to insurance firms to cover. So, whatever the causes, the report shows that if you thought the weather's been getting worse, you're right. North America is the continent with the largest increases in disasters. The report focuses on weather disasters since 1980 in the United States, Canada, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. The report could represent the first finding of a climate change footprint in the data from natural catastrophes. Among the report's findings, Insured losses in the United States due to thunderstorms alone in 2011 were the highest on record at an estimated $26 billion, more than double the previous record set in 2010. Insured losses from disasters globally averaged $9 billion a year in the 1980s. By the 2000s, the average soared $36 billion per year. The costliest weather disasters in the United States since 1980, as defined by insured losses, have all been hurricanes. Led by Hurricane Katrina in 2005, $62 billion, and Hurricane Ike in 2008, $18 billion. And even adjusting 
of population spread and increased property values, Munich Re still sees significant increases in the costs of weather disasters over the past few years. In other words, the world is getting warmer in general and weather disasters are increasing. Climate change is real and this too is another sign of the end of times as we know them. Transition days which is a time of extraordinary happenings, changes and events. Everything is connected and Everything is numbered because it's about what kind of world are we leaving to the future generations and that should be a very important question to ask. Again, Revelation chapter 11 verse 14. The second woe is past and behold the third woe comes quickly. 15. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms and nations of this world are becoming the kingdoms and nations of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. 16. And the four and twenty elders, which sat before God on their seats, fell upon their faces and worshipped God. 17. Saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which are and was and are to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and has reigned. 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou should give reward unto thy servants, the prophets and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and should destroy them which destroy the earth. 19. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament, and there were lightnings, and voices, and thunderings, and an earthquake, and great hail. It's time for the spiritual and physical manifestation of the book of Revelation. And all these are more signs.